Hello everyone, this is what I've been busy doing. This is going to be an ant formicarium. What I did was I ordered the plastic online, sorry the perspex, and then I found out how to stick it together also online using YouTube videos. And uh, you stick it together, I've used nail polish remover and I've been gluing it using this and a uh, little needle on the end there I don't know if I can get that but yeah and basically just running it along the joints where it's going to be joined later on I've got to twist it on its side it's still not fully set yet and then uh, run down those bits down there and again on the inside there I've got a little bit of a safety tub just in case it does leak. Um, as you can see, I've drilled a little hole and in the other side over there, I don't know if you can make it out, and that's going to have this tube for the ants to travel from one side to the other. And then there's going to be soil down the sides, soil and um, per, per, perlite or something like that which is really absorbent stuff just to help keep the soil damp but yeah and then hopefully you should be able to see the queen ant make her nest on any any given side she chooses and then hopefully when the colony starts up they'll make their nest all the way around it and you'll be able to see it all inside inside sorry this is going to be the internal lid once I peel it off, I'm going to have to stick some sort of handle because then that will fit in there and sit on top of that one so I can make a little outworld on the top there. And then again, same thing. This is the external lid. Got to peel it all off and everything. It's going to be a little bit fiddly, but it's all good. So that is the start of my ant formicarium. Quite a large one. They're gonna need to get busy. Cool. Thank you for watching. Um, well, sorry. I'm gonna have the water system and whatnot somewhere inside there, and uh, you know, it's kind of a work in progress type thing. But I think it'll look pretty good. Okay. Thank you for watching.